So what is a peer-reviewed journal? Let's start with a simplified uh, illustration of what the, the scholarly publication process looks like. So what you have is a researcher or a scholar uh, doing some scholarly work uh, and uh, your scholar will find out something new or interesting uh, in the course of their of their research and they want to let uh, other scholars know about what it is that they found. So in order to do that um, what they try to do is to publish in journals. So they'll try to publish a journal article uh, in a journal and that will entail writing up the results of what it is that they found, um, detailing what their methods are, uh, detailing what their findings are, and then sending it into a journal. And if it gets published, uh, then it will eventually find its way into a database uh, where other researchers and students will be able to go to find the results of that research. As part of getting it published in an academic journal, however, uh, it needs to go through the process of peer review. And what that uh, means is that the written up results of the research, once it goes to the journal, the journal editors will send it on to other uh, researchers in the same field. And those researchers will look at the article and provide feedback. And they can also make recommendations. They can say, uh, this looks great. Uh, with just a few small changes, this should be this should be published right away. Uh, or they can say there's great potential here, um, but there needs to be some major changes to uh, this part or that part. Uh, so it should be revised and then resubmitted for further consideration. Or they can say uh, this is really this is lacking in all kinds of major sort of aspects. Uh, so the researcher really needs to go back to the drawing board or consider um, sending it into a different journal uh, and this kind of thing. So it's a, a really engaged kind of um, critique of the research as it's written up and been submitted to uh, the journal. And very often um, the process is what's called double blind and that means uh, that neither the, the researcher who has submitted the paper nor the reviewers who are reviewing the paper uh, will knew, know the identities of one another. And that's uh, to make sure that the people who are reviewing it can feel free to be as critical as they need to be um, uh, without fear of, of some kind of reprisal, without uh, uh, sort of uh, you know, personal negative feelings between uh, whoever has submitted the research and the reviewers. So um, this is a really key part of why uh, academic information is considered to be very authoritative. That it, not only is it produced by experts in the field, but it is also reviewed uh, uh, by other experts in the field before it is allowed to be uh, before it is allowed to go out and be published in uh, the peer-reviewed academic journal.